Hello again and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Jojo and this is HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com. So today I'm going to be showing you how to test your starter. This is obviously found in your engine and primarily if something's not working and you're not like your car isn't starting or something's spinning and you're just kind of like not sure, you can do a bench test, which is what we're going to do here to see if it's going to work. Um, so just some parts here, this is your Bendix gear, and this comes out if it's functioning correctly, it's going to come out and connect to your flag wheel, which is going to start that spinning. On the side here we have the solenoid, and then you have your the part where your um, cables are going to connect to see if there's any power. So this is one part of it, it's going to be the battery, and then this is another part. So. Um, we're going to try it out, we're going to show you what that looks like. Um, we're going to do it two ways. We have some cables down here and then we have this nifty little toy and uh, a screwdriver. So, if you all get started with me, let's see what we can do. Alright, here we go. If you need goggles, now is the time to grab those because sparks can fly, and I don't mean that in a sexy way. Okay, next thing you're going to need, um, cables, so your starter cables. If you don't know what your positive and your negatives are, you've got a problem. Red's positive, black's negative, please remember that, otherwise you're just going to look stupid. First of all, I'm going to take these two. So, I'm just going to show you where I'm going to hook these on. So obviously this is going to be in your engine. This is going to be bolted, this is the metal in your engine that's going to be bolted. So the negative is just going to hook on right here. And the positive is going to hook on to this. So now I'm going to hook up my cables. Red, positive, there's a plus sign, it's pretty straightforward. And then black, negative, negative sign. Okay, so now that we've hooked up the cables, we're going to use our remote starter. And there's two parts of this, so you're going to hook up one of them to the positive cable. And then the other one you're going to hook up to the, um, the solenoid terminal. And so they're just going to, they have like a little latch, and then from there, once you've hooked them on, let me just go ahead and do that. All right, so now that I have those securely connected, I'm going to use the um, remote starter to show you what happens. Um, so basically what you're going to see is the Bendix gear coming out, it's going to connect to your flag wheel and it's going to get your engine moving. So, key in here. As you can see, it pops out, starts spinning, and it gets the rest of everything started. So that's how it should look. And if that's happening in your engine, then your start is completely fine. But if it's not, you've got bigger issues. So if it's not working, and this could just be coming out but not spinning, your Bendix gear I'm talking about, or it could just be spinning but not popping out. So it just make sure that both are happening, otherwise your engine just won't move. Okay. All right, so not all of us have a remote starter just like hanging out in our garage or just anywhere. So if you don't have one, you can always use um, a screwdriver. And basically you're going to do essentially the same thing, but instead of having these Two things on it. I'm just going to remove. Um, just get that out of the way real quickly. They're great, but they like to fall over. All right. So I'm just going to leave that there. You can take your screwdriver, and what you can do is you can connect the um, the solenoid terminal with the metal part to your positive cable starter or positive cable and um, just touch the two and it should essentially do the same thing. So we're going to do that right now. And 
what's going to happen is this. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, I just want to leave you with some advice. So there are a few things that you should consider before just completely being like, screw this. Um, the first is you need to have a completely charged battery because if you don't have a charged battery, it's not going to work. Like your starter in your engine is not going to work. It's just going to be, that's going to be your issue. So just charge your battery. The second one is make sure that your cables are completely clean because if there's any like corrosion or dirt or anything on them, oil, anything, it's not going to allow the power to flow through them. And the third is, it is possible that you might have a weak starter because if your battery is charged and your cables are clean and it's still not working and you've done the bench test and it's working totally fine on your bench but it's not working when it actually is connected in your engine, it could just be that you need to replace your starter. So thank you so much for coming back and um, seeing me in my actual natural habitat, in the accent, I mean not the actual, no, this is becoming more of a natural habitat for me. But um, I didn't mention it in this video in my introduction, but I did mention it in the last video. Um, I actually grew up in Somerset, England, so this is my natural accent. I've just been talking in an American accent for over like a decade and a half. So. Yeah, um, I use my American accent because I'm in the States and um, not really your typical American girl and I'm not really trying to be, but I think a lot of you see me as that, but I just wanted to show you another side of me. So thank you so much for coming. Please share this. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell all your friends. Keep coming back for more. I'm here as often as I can because I live in New York, not Arizona, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye. So I just kind of wedged them in between, touched the two, and that was it. Okay, so now we do the same thing close up. Because <laughs> that's how it works in film, folks. <laughs>